Hello friends, Blues Boy Jag here. Yet another cigar box guitar. This is the first I've made of this box. It says Savages. I'm not sure who the manufacturer of this particular cigar is, but it's a really cool box. Kind of a steampunk looking thing there. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in there and scoot up real close. Obviously a humbucker pickup. This is a three stringer. It's a thin box got some other logos on the back there and uh, it's a long box a little bit longer than most of the cigar boxes by about two or three inches and so it gives it a really cool balanced look instead of having a smaller size box here and a long neck you know it's a little bit more balanced as far as the comparison of the neck length and the box length and uh, I make all my CBGs with one volume control no tone at all so there's the volume right there. And I have a bolt for a bridge, bolt for a nut. Every single one I've ever made, bolt for a bridge, bolt for a nut. You can raise and lower the strings by putting a bigger bolt in either position, if you'd like, to raise the strings. And you wrap the strings around those screws, and it works great. Stays perfectly in tune, perfectly intonated. Strap older or strap bolt there strap bolt right there signed and numbered for markers blues boy jag logo three strings tuned a e a fifth string fourth string third string a e a cigar box guitars. Your mileage may vary just like they would vary with any guitar that you use, even a $4,000 Les Paul. You gotta pick and choose the proper amp for the kind of tone you're looking for and the kind of music you play. Blah -de -de -blah, -de -de blah Pretty much everything that applies to a regular electric guitar as far as your setup and pedals and your tone and your strings and your amp, it is completely the same. It's all up to you. There's one sentence. It's up to you. Choose whatever strings, whatever amp, whatever tuning, However you want to set it up, whatever pedals you want, play with them. Experiment. Just like any other guitar, you can do the same thing with a cigar box guitar. They have their own unique tone in some cases compared to other guitars. However, if you had a stash of, say, 50 various guitars, electric guitars, from the price point of, say, 100 bucks up to about four or $5,000, same thing applies to those. You have to pick the proper amp for the proper music and the proper pedals and the proper tone and the proper pickups. And the blah, 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 blah. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing for Scarbox guitars. There is no special gotta have this for Scarbox guitars. Gotta use these strings. Gotta use this pickup. Gotta use these pedals. Gotta use that. Gotta, got Nope, 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 nope. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Just like a $4,000 Joe Bonamasha special setup guitar. Same deal. Just pick whatever sounds good to you, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I guarantee told you that this guitar right here, if you had a little duel with somebody with a thousand, two, three, four, five thousand dollar guitar on stage, this one would keep up just fine. It's just a wood box with a wood neck and a humbucker, just like a Les Paul, right? There you go.
go. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for kind support. Doodles.